here's my latest project, an aluminum hot plate. Over here on the controller box, I have an Omega CN132 PID controller with the power switch. If you go ahead and open this up, see the controller and the power switch in there, along with a solid state relay and a couple fuse holders over here. You have the power cord on that side. Over here we have the power connectors for the heating strip and the thermocouple. She comes along over here to the hot plate. Uh, top piece is a half inch aluminum. The size is 4 by 5 inches. I have two heating strips in there. I'll fold it up in the back here. You can see the thermocouple goes into the center of the aluminum. So I'll go ahead and throw the case back together and we'll turn this on. Case is back on, so I'll go ahead and turn this on. Warms up. It's reading 28 degrees Celsius right now. See the lights flashing right here, that means it's heating up. If you hold both these in, you could adjust the temperature. I'll put uh, 190, which is the melting point for 6040 solder. Um, it's about 740 right now. So I'll just let this go and I'll show you what it looks like whenever it finally gets to 190 and melts some solder. Well, it's heating up alright. Um, I found out the hard way that my solder definitely isn't 6040 heats up a little bit quicker at about 180 Celsius, 179 right now. You can see it beginning, pretty even heat distribution, they all seem to be melting about the same time, it's at 181 right now. Apparently there's a cool spot right there. Either way, about five till right now, so it took 15 minutes to get this hot, which could be quicker, but it's not really necessary for it to be that quick. So there it is.